Good afternoon. Thank you for being with me today in the Word of God. Today I'd like to share a verse from Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 10 where the writer says this, For they disciplined us for a short time, he's referring to our earthly parents, as it seemed best to them. But he, God, disciplines us for our good, that we may share in his holiness. The last word in that verse is what I would like us to especially take notice of today. It's the word holiness, which is a word which is directed in the scriptures most often to God. God is holy. He is set apart. There is no one like him. He's perfect in every respect. But as people of God in Jesus Christ, that is also a word that is directed to us that we are people who are to live holy lives. Now when we think of it that way, we realize, well, I can't live a holy life. I can't be perfect as God is perfect. Yes, one day I will be in heaven, but right now do I live perfectly holy? And the answer to that question for each of us would be no. We thank you. We thank the Lord, though, that because of what Jesus Christ has done in his death on the cross and his resurrection, that we are people who are declared to be holy, set apart by faith in Christ. And so, as far as God is concerned, in our relationship with him by faith, we are holy. And even so, he calls us to live a holy life, a life in which he is making us to be more and more like Jesus, his son. That's a lifelong process. And one of the ways that God helps us to become more like his son Jesus is, yes, through his means of grace, his word and sacraments. And also God allows us to go through times of discipline, which is the context here in Hebrews chapter 12, that God disciplines us for our good. He allows us, in other words, to go through trials, through hardships, so that he can shape us, so that he can get our attention and help us to follow him more closely. This too is something that we do in fits and starts. We don't do this perfectly, for only Jesus is perfect. But he is one who helps us over the course of our lives to follow him more closely. And we do that because of the one who has made us holy in the first place, Jesus Christ. So let's go to him and ask him to guide us in lives of holiness, even as he has declared us to be holy in Christ. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, that in Jesus, your son, we are set apart. We are your dear children, forgiven and saved. And we pray, Lord, that day by day, you would help us to live lives of holiness as you discipline us, as you encourage us in your word and in your sacraments. We thank you, Lord, for this, and we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.